All right, scholars, you should have turned to the page that was listed on the instructions. Be sure you write your date in the corner. This is 5.4e, and your title is Order of Operations. Remember, you can pause the video wherever you need to continue writing. All right. The Order of Operations is also known as PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. It's the order of operations. Our four operations in math are add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Okay? PEMDAS and order of the operations is the correct order in which to solve a numerical expression, which is the same thing as a number sentence. So one way that we talked about today with my class is to remember PEMDAS is a purple-eyed monster drinking a soda. So I drew a purple-eyed monster drinking a soda. Now, if your parents are watching this with you, when we were old, well, when we were young, now we're old, we learned a different way. We learned, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So, whichever way works for you, whichever one you remember, that's the one you can do. Okay. But what that stands for and what it represents at the order of operations, the P is the parentheses, E is for exponents, which is this little number up on top, like when you talk about numbers being squared or cubed. You're not going to do those yet, but next year you will. The M and the D go together for multiply and divide, and the A and the S go together for addition and subtraction. Okay? And when you do those, you go from left to right as you get to it. Okay? So get all of that copied down on your page, and we're going to do some examples. All right, on the left-hand side, you're going to come over here and you're going to write your examples. So we're going to do 5 plus parenthesis 9 minus 4, close parenthesis, plus 3, and it's a little dot floating in the air, okay? This is taking the place of the multiplication symbol. When we start algebra and we start using letters with our math, we can't really use a multiplication symbol anymore because it looks like an X and it gets very confusing. So from now on, if you see a dot, that also means multiply. If you see a number such as 4 next to a parenthesis, that means multiply. Okay. If you see, um, sometimes we'll get it where we have a variable like 4X. That also means you're going to multiply four times that variable, okay? So we're going to see a lot of changes to our multiplication symbols now that we're getting older and more scholarly. So we're going to do our example now. I wrote PEMDAS over here to the side, and I wrote it for the P for parentheses. I'm going to do it left to right and do the parentheses first. So always go left to right. And I'm looking, and there are my parentheses. So I'm going to do that operation first. Everything else will stay the same. My 5, my plus sign, my plus sign, my 3, my dot for multiplication, and 5. So right here, 9 minus 4 is 5. So now my parentheses check. Exponents, I told you all you all won't do until next year. Now we look and go across from left to right and do any multiplication or division. Looking from left to right, that's add, so we won't do it. It'll stay the same. We're still adding. It'll stay the same. Right here, there's a multiply step. So we're going to do our multiply. 3 times 5 is 15. That's our multiply divide step. So now we look and we're going to add or subtract. 5 plus 5 right here gives us 10. Everything else stays the same, plus 15. So that's our last step there is to do 10 plus 15 and gives us 25. Okay, pause it here if you need to write some more. But we're going to move on to our next sample. Oh, I didn't put my check mark. We checked it off because we did our addition subtraction. Okay, so now we're going to do our next problem. I'm going to write my PEMDAS again. All right, left to right always. First step is parentheses, so I look across and I have parentheses here, so everything else stays the same. So 
So I do 6 minus 4, and that's 2. Now, I'm going to write it again in the parentheses because because I want you to look at it for a second. Okay? Remember a while ago when I was talking about all the different multiplication stuff? It's a number next to a parenthesis. So when you look at that, we're going to change it to a multiplication sign. Okay? I'm going to put the dot so we can start practicing with the dot. Okay? So we did our parentheses. Now we're going to no exponents this year. Multiply and divide. So left to right across the way, that's subtraction, so that stays the same. I've got a multiply, uh, divide, excuse me. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then I have a times 2. So left to right, I'm still multiplying, dividing. That, multi that subtraction step is going to stay the same. So 13 minus, here's my multiplication. 4 times 2 is 8. So now I'm done with my multiplying, dividing step. I'm going to do my add, subtract. That's the last step I have. 13 minus 8 is 5. And we're done. Hey, okay, be sure you get all of this copied into your notebook. And we'll talk some more about it and practice some more with it tomorrow.